What's going on guys? So I'm out here in uh, Yori National Forest. It is uh, January 16th and uh, I wanted to do a legit test for the heater that I got off of Amazon. And uh, so right now it's sitting at about 36 degrees outside and uh, the I got my kids, they're up there in the tent right now playing Mario Kart on the Switch. <laughs> but um, I have the I have the thermostat set in there to 25 degrees Celsius, so sitting at 77 right now because they're they were pretty chilly. And uh, so if you can hear it, you can make the sound out. This is the heater on the back side. I know what it sounds like. I didn't realize how loud the exhaust actually was in this video until I started making it. Um, it's usually not this loud when it's at regular operating temperature. It's just running harder right now to compensate for how cold it is outside. Exhaust here. It's pulling in fresh air on this one. I don't have a full setup mount on, but this is the diesel cam. I have it mounted inside of that. Inside uh, that toolbox. So, and then just have this flex pipe. Running at the time. So it got a little louder at the moment. Just like I said, it's trying to it's trying to it's keeping up with how quickly the temperature's dropping out here right now. It's supposed to get down to 28. So um, I'll check back in with the more in the morning uh, to let you know how it did with us. So there's myself and my two little girls, uh, nine and twelve. So they love camping. But they're, like I said, they're up there playing the Switch, playing Mario Kart right now. So, um, I'll provide an update tomorrow morning, let you know how it carried throughout the night. So, uh, morning update. Heater performed great. Um, I tried to set it around uh, 68 or so in the tent last night. Everything's in Celsius because it's a Chinese knockoff heater off of Amazon. So, everything's in Celsius. So, um, but it was about 68 degrees, is what I tried to set it to. Um, couple of times I got it up a little higher um, at one point I was straight up sweating at night um, it got down so this morning at about 6 a.m. it got down to 28 degrees uh, super chilly um, but the tent stayed really warm me and the little girls stayed really warm uh, you know I wasn't wrapped up in a sleeping bag the kids were half out of theirs so it you know the, the heater worked out really really well um, the Jackery kept it going for 13 hours kept the heater going for 13 hours um, so when we turned it off this morning it said it had about 15 percent battery life left and then for some reason i'm not really sure it's saying it's got 40 percent so like i said got the this is where it's at now if you guys can see that here we go so it's got 40 percent i haven't charged or anything like that so that's uh yeah like I said, it's a Jackery 240, powers this, uh, this here for 13 hours with no problems whatsoever. Now, I didn't have anything else plugged into it. I didn't have an LED strip um, plugged into anything like that. That's going to be kind of the next step to see how that works. Um, but, yeah, the heater went well. I'll throw a link in, in the description of the video, um, you know, with the, uh, with the link to Amazon for where I bought it at. It was about uh, 120 130 on, on Amazon, plus another $18 for a toolbox and a couple dollars for more fuel line because I don't like the, the standard setup that they sent. But I'll go over that uh, a little bit later. So, yeah, uh, heat, heat did really well. So definitely recommend it. It's a sweet little budget build and definitely changes uh, how often you can go camping due to the weather. So, but Jackery did awesome. Heater did great. Tent, of course, did great. This is Smitty built uh, Gen 2 Overland XL. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for uh, more updates. So I had a few people ask me about the little heater setup that I had on my Instagram um, for camping. And so I just want to show it real quick to y'all, give you a little rundown of it real fast. I um, actually got the idea from uh, another YouTube channel. Uh, I want to say it's Revere Overland. Um, and basically it's a, uh, so it's a, a diesel heat exchanger that I got off of Amazon and the kit was about, uh, I want to say about a one, 120 or so. Um, and, and then an additional $18 for a 
toolbox mounted in. So took it out, was out in Uwari National Forest the other night with my two girls and uh, it got down to 28 degrees, super cold. And the uh, heater took care of us all night. Uh, you know, we were up in a uh, Smitty Belt Overland Gen 2 XL tent and uh, did perfectly. So I'm gonna show you what we ran. So here's the setup that I used for the heater. Um, the actual heater is inside of the toolbox that I bought. And that's it there. So you've got your inlet. So I cut a hole for the inlet side. This is all your inlet air. And then cut a hole on the other side to run the uh, actual heater vent. And then you gotta cut some holes in the bottom. So black tube on the left is your uh, air intake, so like your, for your combustion air, and then the tube to the right is the exhaust. So you can tell it's, you know, got, it, was, it was silver, but now it's all uh, blued up and whatnot from the running. And then this is our, the fuel line, so, and then inside you get your fuel pump. And then uh, right here is the uh, fuel line that goes to the uh, fuel tank. And then the wiring itself, so here's your harness. Now, what I'm doing at in the moment um, is I've got it hooked up to this inverter because this inverter has a, uh, a cigarette lighter and I plug it into my Jackery. What I plan on doing is just soldering uh, a cigarette lighter adapter straight to this wiring uh, harness and just kind of bypassing this all together. Just, it, this was a last minute thing, so. This isn't really necessary. I'm not using the inverter for anything other than just the actual terminals themselves. And then it's running off of a uh, Jackery 240. Um, ran it for 13 hours, ran all night long. It did not die. And uh, when I got done running it, um, when I did the shutdown procedure, the Jackery said it was at about, uh, say 18% or so. And when it finally shut down, turned it off and took it off the Jackery, I don't know what, what happened, but the battery went up to 40%. Not really sure, but that's just that's what happened. Um, and then this this one comes with an actual thermostat here that you can control, which is kind of wonky to operate. But I mean, it kind of is what it is. It's all everything's in Celsius. Um, but I'll show you real quick how it works. So first thing you got to do is you got to get this uh, the fuel pump primed. Okay. So in order to do that, you're gonna hit these two buttons. So you're going to get this and then you're going to hit the up button to turn it on. And then you hear fuel pump priming. I don't need to do that right now. I don't have the fuel hooked up. So then once once I let that run for about uh, 45 seconds or so to prime the fuel pump, turn it back off, hit OK. And then these two top buttons up here to, get that right, to set the temperature. So this is whatever you want it to be here. And um, that's where it, you know let's reset it. And then from there, hit OK. And this current temperature out here. And then you're going to turn it on. And now it's going to go through the motions of heating the glow plugs up. It's going to draw a lot more power to begin with, um, just to get the glow plug heated, to get the you know fuel into the fuel pump, and uh, going through and starting to burn. But uh, and turn this off real fast and uh, so yeah power consumption starting out is over 100 watts once you get to operating temperature it'll uh, it will sit around 18 fluctuate between 18 and 20 watts the thermostat does a really good job at maintaining temperature so it will you know in the middle of the night if it is cold you'll hear it definitely increase to kind of keep up um, if it's really cold out and uh but yeah like i said it it was great and this simple little build i could have made it cleaner used actual you know jigsaw or little router saw or whatever i did this all with a razor blade and a pocket knife so clearly it's not that great but you know what it kept us warm out in you know sub 30 degree weather um the only thing i'm going to end up doing a little differently is wrapping this in exhaust tape because it gets really hot and what I do is just kind of set it on the side of my bed rack here 
So I'll just set it up there and bungee it to the to the side because I'm, I'm not going to do a permanent mount for it um, unless I did like an actual better box. Um, so it just goes on the back of the truck when I'm not using it. And then what I'm also going to do, there's not a lot of uh, play or not, not a lot of extension in this hose. And this is what came with it. Um, and so I'm just going to go do those, grab some heater hose or uh, you know dryer hose, something like that, just to get a little more extension out of it. And then um, the only other extra thing I did buy was more fuel line. So they give you a little bit of fuel line and then like plastic fuel line to insert into this. I, I'm not all about that. So I actually went to Advanced Auto, picked up some more fuel line and did it that way. Um, my fuel can, I, I haven't made a permanent solution yet. Um, I plan on buying myself a jerry can and uh, you know, putting some brass fittings on it. Right now, I just kind of stick that fuel line down in the bottom of that jug, and uh, there you go. And that right there is how much fuel we used for 13 hours of it running. So not too bad. Um, but definitely, and like I said, it did, did its job. It, it worked great. So there you have it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. It, it worked great. Kept us really warm. At one night, I was sweating. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it, it was pretty sweet. I like the build, really cheap, really, uh, you know, just cost effective and really changes how often you can go camping, you know, if you're in colder weather climates like that. Like we had a great fire that night, cranked up the heater before we actually got in the tent and it was, it was awesome. Definitely recommend it. If you have any questions, um, hit me up in the comments. Uh, definitely like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Gonna be, uh, putting up some more videos here soon gonna do an actual review of the rack I've been saying I'm gonna need, I've been going to do it but I just haven't done it yet it's been busy you know um, and then just probably a quick review of the tent well, there's tons of them out there for the overland too so uh, yeah I'll be doing that but and again just so just uh, stay tuned all right you guys have a good one stay safe out there